And we are back on the Now Morning Show. I am joined by Lamar Paula, the producer for the Prime Minister's Independence Concert Aspire, which is on this evening. Yes, this evening. At 7.30. <laughs> Will that takes care of the first question? <laughs> <laughs> morning, morning, Lamar. Welcome to the show. Happy yeah. Independence. Same to you. Happy Independence. Tell me how we celebrate in this evening. All right. Well, the event is a 13-piece tasting menu of Trinidad and Tobagonian culture. So it starts with some appetizers, uh -huh. and then it snowballs into a full course meal. Bum, right? Bum. So it's a description, boy. Yeah, boy. Yes. It's not like we have dinner later, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the event, um, we try to capture the diversity of Trinidad and Tobago. So we have kind of involved a lot of elements of some of the fringe cultures. So mm. we have involved uh, members of the Chinese community, the Syrian and Lebanese community, and we have definitely ensured that Tobago is wonderfully represented on the program. Excellent. Was it difficult to, to get that balance? I know everybody's very busy around this time of the year, especially this year, because for some reason this year, it seems like there's a different kind of celebration and joy going on. How Sweet difficult 60. has it, yeah, exactly, you Correct. celebrating six days. How difficult has it been to be able to, to deal with the HR aspect of this, you know, taking care of all the, all the people that need to be there on time and rehearsing and getting things prepared? Uh, well, I would say there was, were some challenges, but in Trinidad, I think we are accustomed to that. You know, our production and event culture is one that we are required to adapt very quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of the cast, I got everybody that I wanted and that the office wanted. We got a, f a cast of really exciting talent that, again, that represents the diversity of the country. So mm -hmm. I don't think it was much of a challenge. And what about, what about the fact that we're celebrating the Diamond Jubilee? Does that mean anything in terms of the story that we're telling this evening? Of course, so the name of the event is Aspire, celebrating 60 years of independence and unity through culture. And one of the major design concepts was involved in trying to figure out how do we integrate the diamond into the story and to the ah. scenic elements. So I don't want to say too much when folks, you know, um, attend the event later and the live audience at home, they, I think they're in for some pleasant surprises. So Lamar, tell us, uh, you know, usually we see the end product. You know, and no one really sees all the hard work that goes in behind the scenes. Sure. I myself have seen today Again, all the hard work Again, that this goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> so give us an idea of, of what goes on in, in putting together this sort of a production. Well, aside from stress and many sleepless <laughs> nights, aside from stress and many sleepless nights, you know, there's a lot of meetings. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of back and forth. Um, but for the most part, it's a, about collaboration, events and production, especially one of this magnitude for the, uh, the celebration of our 60 years of independence, is a, lot, is a, a lot about collaboration and working together. You know, In some instances, you have to try to enforce compliance, but productions of this magnitude are really about collaboration and working together. OK, great. Well, I, I know that uh, a, part of, a part of collaborating, you're, you're going to put some, like you say, some stress and some, some remanagance and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But what do you hope that at the end of it all, at the end of all that, when they chip away at it, I mean, Diamonds are formed under pressure, as they say, right? Correct. So what do we hope that people take away this evening when they, when they look at the show from home or they come down to Napa, because we know Napa done sold out already. So what do you hope people are able to leave with this evening? Again, the event, Aspire, was really pulled from the national motto. It's about togetherness. And it's our hope, the cast hope, and my hope in particular, mm -hmm. that the audience at home and the live audience really understands that what makes us who we are is the whole idea of unity. I think m many times we take for granted that we, have, we are able to have Muslim, Hindu, Christian, Orisha, Shouter Baptist, all living in one small place mm -hmm. without a lot of contention and fight based on our differences. And I think that is something to celebrate. And I want to remind the people of that, it, you know, for the 60-year celebration. Mm -hmm, definitely. You, you mentioned the, the, uh, the industry, the events industry, the promotions industry, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. which would have taken a hit in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, but now that we're opening back up and you're doing a production of this magnitude, do you see a difference in the way people are coming to work, uh, the, the approach to work itself compared to two years ago? Uh, somewhat. I think that we're in a transitional kind of phase where some folks are still... COVID conscious, mm -hmm. and many have been eager to return to right. the, no the norm, yeah. so there's a balance. So you may find some people masked and some unmasked right. kind of thing. And some people are more wary of being in groups and speaking in groups, and some are more comfortable. They're just like, I want to do my thing yeah. and go back to the way we were. But in know? terms of the, the people who you're, you're working with, I know you said you got all the performers that you wanted, but mm -hmm. in terms of the, the technical crew, the behind the scenes crew, that kind of thing, have we seen people who would have been here two years ago that fall off of the industry now, that not around or, or stuff like that, or everybody kind of just... Held their, held their own and come back out? 
I think many have held their own and come back out. I can't speak for everyone, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Hmm. Um, this is my first major event. I did. I worked with uh, Jules Sobian last year, but this would be my first major event mm -hmm. post-COVID. Right. And the team I've assembled is a really talented, really um, strong team. And these are people I've worked with before. So, again, as it pertains to not seeing people or people fall enough, I can't say, I can't yeah. speak to that. But in terms of this team for this production, it's some of the best in the industry. Now, I want to, I want to, to second that because I had the, the pleasure of working with Lamar for the, the Emancipation Show at the Diplomatic yes. Center where I, where I hosted. And uh, the team was quite efficient. I mean, you all saw how fast the changeovers were happening on TV. It was all live, was 100%. There, so it was it you was were great. there in person, right? Yeah. But in terms of being able to capture that, uh, that, that audience and do it for television as well as for the live audience, is that a, how challenging is that to get well, it right? That is quite challenging. That is quite challenging. I don't want to go too much into the minutia of what makes it challenging. But the whole idea of doing a live production and working with television, there are challenges, but we always get around them. Mm -hmm. I think it's about collaboration. And once you have a strong team, people could hit the ground running and work together quickly again. This is embedded in us, in our culture, and the way we are. We, are e we easily adapt to challenges. So I don't think it was a big issue to, you know? So Lama, you're talking about collaborations. You're talking about the team. You're talking about these things. Any idea, you could give us any idea of who we could expect to see tonight? Of course, without revealing too much, we have somebody Regular, some of the big names. So we have uh, Malik Folk Performing Company. We have Shiv Shakti. Uh, we have Dr. Ray Holman and Band. We have Young Dr. Christians. Dr. Ray Holman taught me Spanish in Fatima. You know? me, as, yeah. me as well. He taught yeah. me Spanish. And I was very afraid of him when he taught me Spanish. I am still but, afraid of him. Yes. <laughs> but uh, we also have Young Christian Samuel, a, a really fast rising Indian classical dancer. Mm -hmm. uh, the show kind of culminates with some big names. So we have Dev Calypsonians, Devon Seal. We have Terry Lyons. We have the Lydians, mm. you know. And as I said, all right, all right, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you want to see, the rest 7 30 p.m. tonight. 7 30 p.m. And let me like. tell you about Lamar. He does stick. When it's showtime, it is showtime. Whether you're in front of your TV or whether you're in Napa, he's starting the show at 7 30 on the dot. Am I right? Correct. Correct is right. Thank you so much for joining us and all my the best pleasure, tonight. My pleasure. My pleasure. Enjoy it. Happy Independence, bro. Happy Independence, bro. Thank Ladies you, and gentlemen, Aspire, the 60th celebration of independence, is on this evening at the National Academy for the Performing Arts Lord Kitchener Auditorium. You want to be a part of it. And if you can't, Tune in right here, 7.30 p.m. TTT. We go live with it. Aspire, the 60th anniversary celebration. Thank you so much, Tamar. We'll take a break and come back with more. Stay tuned.